The topic of discussion in today's video is breach presentation. Firstly, you should know what is breach presentation. It's a type of longitudinal lie where there is podalic position present at, uh, as the presenting part. So it is a podalic position. There are important types of breach which uh, you need to know before knowing the mechanism of labor. Basically divided into complete and incomplete. If this is the fetal head, this, this is the fetal head, this is the fetal spine. If there is flexion at the hip joint, flexion at the knee joint, flexion at the ankle joint and flexion at all the other joints, then this uh, breach, we call it as a complete breach or it, we call it as a flexed breach. In an incomplete breach, if any of this is not happening, then it becomes a incomplete breach. If this is the head, if there is flexion at the hip joint, but there is extension at the knee joint, then this becomes a frank breach. If there is extension at the hip joint, slight extension at the knee joint, then the, this will be called as foot link presentation. And if there is uh, extension at the hip joint and flexion at the knee joint, then this will be called as the knee presentation. These are some of the few possibilities which can occur in breach. Now, for explanation of mechanism of labor for a breach presentation, whole of the fetus will be divided into three parts. That is the head, the shoulder and the buttocks. Mechanism of labor for a breach presentation will be explained in these three headings. So firstly, we will start with buttocks. What happens when the buttocks starts descending and engaging. Always remember whenever we talk about buttocks we consider the engaging diameter is your bitrochantric diameter and this diameter will be engaged in the oblique diameter of the pelvis and the denominator is your sacrum. Consider this as the pelvis, sacrum, pubic symphysis, iliosacral joint, ischial spine, uh, then this will be your iliopubic eminence. In this case, because we are talking about the bite, uh, let's consider the right uh, sacro anterior position as the R position, then the trochantric diameter, bitrochantric diameter will occupy this oblique diameter and the sacrum will be in relation with your iliopubic eminence. Once descent starts occurring, uh, in a well flexed breach, the anterior, uh, the anterior buttock will hit the pelvic floor first and as the funda goes, whichever hits the pelvic floor first will rotate first anterior hits the pelvic floor first therefore it has to rotate such that this comes to lie just behind the pubic symphysis so once the rotation occurs that is rotation will occur by one eighth of a circle and our diameter will lie in this anterior posterior diameter the vitrochantric will occupy the anterior posterior sacrum will come to lie along the ischial spine okay this will be the final position. Now, how will this deliver? It will deliver by something called as lateral flexion and for this, always remember in case of the delivery of buttocks, the anterior buttock will deliver first. This point is very very important. Next, 
once the patak has delivered the descent will continue and second the movements occurring at the shoulders for this the engaging diameter will be the bis acromial that means between the two acromial processes whatever diameter we get that is your engaging diameter and in this bis acromial diameter will occupy the same oblique diameter that the buttocks had engaged because if this this is the line of my buttocks in the beginning shoulders are also lying in the same plane so the uh, engagement of shoulders and the engaging diameter for the buttocks will be the same oblique diameter that is if it is a right say um, sacro anterior then it will be right oblique okay so shoulders will also occupy the same oblique diameter again the same diagram again the sacrum the pubic symphysis sacro iliac ilio pubic eminence shoulders are occupying this diameter again the same funda the anterior will hit the pelvic floor first therefore it has to rotate such that it comes to lie immediately behind the pubic symphysis this rotation also occurs by 1/8 of a circle and finally it will come to lie in the anterior posterior diameter the only difference between delivery of shoulder and the buttocks is that this also delivers by lateral flexion but in this case the posterior shoulder will deliver first so this difference is very very important next delivery of the head there's a major difference between delivery of the head and delivery of other two what happens is if this is the line plane of the buttocks shoulders will also lie along the same but remember your fetus is sitting like this with its face facing towards the opposite end of the pelvis so if face is facing towards the opposite sacroiliac joint occiput is lying in line with the other iliopubic eminence and we consider the sub occipito frontal diameter then the engaging diameter for the head which is your sub occipito frontal will lie in the opposite diam oblique diameter so it is your opposite oblique diameter that is in this case this will be your diameter sacroiliac joint ilio pubic eminence this is your occiput occiput is lying here compare this diagram with that of this and this here the engaging diameter was the right oblique diameter whereas here it is the left oblique diameter this difference is very very important again the same funda occiput hits the pelvic floor first therefore it has to rotate such that it comes to lie behind the pubic symphysis this is your occiput and descent further descent occurs and delivery of the head is by flexion so these are the three movements important uh, different movements which occur at the buttocks shoulders and the head for a delivery of breech presentation further things will be explained in the next video thank you